Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Warship Gunner 2. In the last episode, we did Mission 240, and I think we did some R&D as well, right? We got, uh, oh yeah, we got our duck, um, duck interceptors, which is cool. And so today, we're going to be protecting the Brest fleet. Uh, and let's see what ship we want to do this with here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and design the Twin Hole Cruiser to have, uh, to have, uh, AGS guns on it instead of missiles, because the missiles are... Not working out so good no more. So we'll take off the missiles, like so. And we're going to throw on some high velocity uh, EGS guns like this and this. And I don't know, I mean, I guess, I don't know how many we can put on here. Weight's going to be a bigger issue more than anything. So let's just start with, let's just start with this. Yeah, wow. Um... We can probably ditch a lot of these torpedoes, honestly. Well, that didn't even give us a lot of weight, now did it? Huh. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. You know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering, what if we did something a little different? We know that having the AGS guns come in from a wider area helps hit the target. So I'm wondering... What if we take these guys, just with one barrel? Wait, no, that's not the one I wanted. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Weapons. What if we take the 254s with one barrel, um, and literally is kind of all over the place? You know what I mean? So they're they're taking up a big area from front to back, basically. Like this. We'll raise them up. Bring them back. Raise them up. Bring them back. This is going to be a lot less symmetrical than we're used to seeing. But, like I said, that's I want to test this out, because if this works the way I think it's going to, this will be awesome. And, of course, if we have the weight, we'll find space for more of these things. It looks like we are going to have the weight. Okay, so I want to have more firing forward than backwards, of course. So we're going to move these guys up. Move this one. Whoops, move. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Put that one forward a bit. Put this one forward a bit. Raise it up again. Bring it back. There we go. Um, yeah. And the torpedoes. Can we put more torpedoes back in here? Somewhere we can. Yep. Whoa. That's weird. Audio glitch. Is it doing that in the recording as well? Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. It's back, though. All right. So we got more torpedoes again. Maybe, whoop, maybe we can get more torpedoes. Uh, not quite. Can I move these back? And then bring these forward? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we've got AGS guns kind of spread out across the deck, so I'm hoping that it will give a wide shot, kind of, to the AGS guns. Uh, obviously, they're all going to kind of narrow in on the same point, but I'm curious to see if this works. So, yeah. Kind of just kind of just testing right now. Obviously, this is not, you know, like, like all of my designs, they're not like min-maxed to be absolutely perfect and fine-tooth combed and, you know, uh, detected, you know, with a with a magnifying glass or something, but, um, you know, should be a decent enough design at least. So there's all of the submarines right there. Like, seriously, every single one of them. So we're gonna go ahead and launch all of our missiles at those guys. We're gonna fire off some chaff, and let's see if this works as planned. Um, kinda? They're still, like, leading at weird angles and stuff sometimes. But it does seem to be covering a big, wide area. Um, which is nice. It depends a lot more on the, uh, the wave action, it looks like, than on the guns themselves. But it seems to be kinda helping, at least. I don't know if it's, like, a game changer, but it does seem to be helping. Yeah, I think it's working. I like that. Okay. Um, let's launch my aircraft. I don't know how much use they're going to be, but we'll try them out. We've got these oxygen torpedoes that are unguided here, so we're just going to send a whole ton of them over that way. Let's see how that does, if anything. Got a few hits. Nothing crazy, though. Let's try to just fire these without aiming in, or zooming in, rather. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I think it's working. Cool. 
Just gives the AGS guns a little bit more area coverage. Which I think is definitely helping. Okay. Hard to port. Yep, got the repair kit. Might need that later. Funds and parts. Helicopters found a funds craze for me. I missed that one, but oh well. Is this my helicopter right here next to us? Or above us or something? Oh, wait. I don't know, actually. I can't see it. I have no idea. I can't see any of my own things here. Any of my own aircraft, because it's so dark. Oh, there's my helicopter over there. Yeah, well, just don't die, buddy. That's, I just need you to stay alive. I think we got the treasure. Didn't we get the treasure last time? I don't know. Let's go for it. Oh, no. No, I don't. I, I'm pretty confident we got the treasure. I don't want to abandon these guys and fail the mission. That would suck. They are just friendly AI, after all. They're not that brilliant. Oh, yeah, and this one takes a while, too, because you get to a point where you're just waiting for the next enemy to spawn. But, uh, you know, until then... We're going to wait for them to come to us. So there's a lot of waiting in this mission. How... I'm assuming... I mean, yeah, obviously we got all the submarines. I didn't see if they dropped anything, though. I forgot to check. Well, hello, enemy ships. Y'all are next. I forgot to try and update the systems on our cruiser, too. Oh, well. We will. Our helicopter is still alive, and this fun crate is still... Funds crate is still floating, so I'll take it. Hello. There. there we go. Open fire. Jeff. Tear them apart. There we go. Cool. And then these guys. Yeah, I definitely think having the widespread AGS guns is helping a lot. Which is good. And obviously it's like, yeah, sure, I don't have, you know, three barrels per gun, but, like, I have so many guns it doesn't really matter. Because the other scenario would have been just having three, uh, three three-gun turrets on each side of the ship, which would have given us more guns per side of the ship than this is giving us. But it also wouldn't have been as wide of a spread, which means it might not be actually killing things as effectively. Which is what I was going for here, so... I think... Job accomplished. Or, you know, job well done on that aspect, at least. I want to get in here and torpedo these guys, because these torpedoes are kind of hard to use at significant range. I want to see what they can do. Oh! Oh, they can be quite lethal. Yeah, they can be quite lethal indeed. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, yep, I'll take that. Get that parts crate. Eh, I'll just turn around and reverse for it. There we go. Alright, forward. Um, oh, wow, a lot of bad guys, like, right next to the fleet, actually. Can't see them on my radar because they have jamming. Radar jamming. Get out of here. Leave my allies alone. You... You and all of you guys. There we go. Thankfully, the cruisers go down pretty easily. Get the ammo and the parts. And I don't know. I guess down there. Turn around. I forgot these are Colorado class battleships. I feel like I used to know that, and then I, I totally forgot until just now. Die. Yep, there we go. Chaff flare. Chaff is really just a habit at this point. I don't know why I keep doing it other than other than just habit. <laughs> I always kind of assume there's missiles coming in from somewhere. Because there usually are. Are we hitting 100 knots? Probably not. No, not quite. Real close, but not quite. Go! And you might be able to hear my neighbor's car. Her car is extremely loud because it's very old. So, I apologize for that. Um, let's see, where are you? Is it three more cruisers again? Yeah, three cruisers again. Charge! I guess that transport up in the northeast isn't leaving, so theoretically you could wait until the end of the mission and go get them. Then you don't have to worry about the Brest fleet being sunk. Fun's great, gimme gimme. Gimme gimme gimme, yeah. I'll take that. Oh, wait, there he goes. Now he's moving. Uh, I see that transport moving. So he leaves after a little while. 
but it takes some time. Is he just running to the north? I think he's pretty much just running northwest until he gets out of the map. I don't see any reason why he would come all the way out to the west and then leave. Yeah. Now he just goes northwest and leaves. Oh well. So we got one group up there, we got two groups down there. I kind of want to just chill here and wait for them to come to me because I don't feel like running around and chasing these guys. So we'll do a cut if I have to. Well, I decided we we're going to go play Chasey Chasey Catchy Catchy because they're taking forever to get over here, so. And come on, kill it. There we go. Flare. Uh, where's the other one? Right over here. So we've killed most of the mine layers. That's one objective done. The other group is like, was hanging out in that port up there for some reason. There we go. So there's, there's that. Main objective updated. Now the carriers are here. Oops, I gotta get off of the, yeah. Chaff out of habit. Turn around. Chaff out of habit. <laughs> it's not a habit I wanna break, because it's a good habit to be in. There you go, enemy strike fleet has been eliminated. There's two enemy groups left. We'll probably still get an S rank, honestly. I think we sunk enough things. Mission accomplished, hooray. We're just gonna go ahead and leave, because I'm pretty confident we're gonna get the S rank. And even if not this time, I'm pretty sure we did last playthrough as well, so. Sink three enemy aircraft carriers, hey, ta-da! Yep, S rank. Piece of cake. Let's see how we did for money, 134,000. Not bad, I'll take it. Uh, uh, no new parts. All right, well, that's a little more sad, but, you know. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. More stuff from Gartner. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't like having Werner in the room for so much of this, you know? But, uh, but I know how the story goes, so. <laughs> I'll say it again, if you're watching this... The Let's Play for the Story, you're in the wrong place. I have uh, playlists of the actual story playthroughs gone through slowly, so you can read everything. Um, on the channel, this is the completion playthrough, not the Let's Get All the Stories playthrough. We are doing this because we have to, to unlock all the missions. But, uh, yeah. Returning Nightmare, 280. A nightmare it is indeed. Though now I'm curious how well a cruiser could pull it off. Eh... Yeah. That, that is intriguing. That is an intriguing question. Ooh, you know what would be really fun? Do this with the uh, the frigate and just circle him. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. Torpedo living crap out of him? Yeah, let's try that. I don't know if it's going to work. The frigate might die. I might not have enough health for that to work, but I want to try it. Um, Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think this is going to work, but I want to try. This thing is extremely fast and maneuverable, so we'll we'll see if this works out. <laughs> Gonna be trying to rely mostly on the torpedoes, because obviously with those AGS guns I only have the two of them, so they're not gonna be that great. So let's get over here and see if we can deal with this guy. I wish we got that hole to play with. Like if there was any if there was any hull in the game from any of the uh, any of the uh, super weapons that I could pick to to have and be able to play with, it'd be that one. So that's really cool. It's like a gigantic twin hulled battle carrier, basically. It'd be extra cool if you could launch your own little PT boats out the back to help you, but I wouldn't expect you would be able to do that. It'd be cool. I just I doubt they would implement that. But still, just having the hull itself would be sweet. Letting it have like, let's see, I don't know what twenty aircraft or so would be would be pretty fair for being a battle carrier. That way, it doesn't have as many as the super carrier, and it still leaves a reason to play the super carrier. Oh boy, these guys! I forgot about these guys. Chaff. These darn these uh these uh destroyers and stuff. These cruisers. So I think the Allen M. Sumner class there is the only one I couldn't lock onto, but that's okay. Okay, chaff. Oh, it's getting laggy. 
Fire all the torpedoes at Dual Crater. Forward thruster. Some of these torpedoes are going to hit PT boats along the way, but that's fine, honestly. I need them to die anyways. Get in front of him so the torpedoes don't have to try and catch up. It's going well. Yeah, that went great. Nice. We've sunk the enemy giant amphibious assault ship. Now, I haven't looked at my health yet, so I don't know how I'm doing on health. We'll see, I guess, but I don't, I don't know. Mop up leftover enemies and head home. Aim. Ta da! Went well. Go back. How are we doing on health? Oh, doing great, actually. Doing wonderful. Fires of torpedoes. Do a 180 real quick. Yeah. Alright. Goodbye. Man, only having two of these AGS guns isn't really a handicap now, is it? They're still awesome. Uh, flare, chaff. Yeah, man. Ooh, parts crate. I mean that. Health crate, I'll take it. PT boats. It's incredible I'm actually hitting some of these PT boats. Given the circumstances. Earth, there we go. Hard to port. There we go. <laughs> I really gotta chase them down like I'm a fighter jet or something. Like I gotta get right on top of them. <laughs> All right, let's see this guy. I see a parts crate over there. I want that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There's a ton of enemy ships here, obviously, still to, to go and kill. But um, I don't even need a repair kit. Screw it. Let's see. There is, I think, yeah, treasure over there. I'm going to go grab that real quick. And then we'll go kill the remaining enemy ships. There's a cargo plane. Hmm, interesting. That might be the uh, one of the few false prophet cargo planes in the game. All right, go helicopter. We'll head south though to try and intercept it real quick. Hopefully we can get down there fast enough. But I don't know. It is way down there, and the map is pretty big. What is that? What is that? Ammo? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that plane's not going nearly as fast as I thought it would be. We got time to take a short detour here and deal with these guys. Fire off some chaff. I want to... Let's go for the, um... Allen M. Sumner. There we go. The Allen M. Sumner with the AGS gun, since I can't lock onto it with torpedoes. Maybe. Maybe. Killed one of the Esperance in the process. Uh, torpedoes. Yeah, that should be plenty of torpedoes for those guys. Or not. Wow. Wait, maybe? Almost. There we go. That plane is coming this way, rather than going out of the map. That is interesting. It's most definitely a cargo plane, too. Oh, very, very interesting. He dropped a parts crate. Okay. <laughs> I don't... Alright. I don't know if it is or isn't the part, the, uh, the treasure. I have no idea. Parry unit recovered. I need some ammo right now is what I need. Helicopter. Preferably for the torpedoes, but I don't know what weapon I'm going to have equipped when it eventually does pick up an ammo crate. Oh, or I just go get that one. That works, too. Can I finally lock onto this guy now? I don't think so, actually. No, even at point-blank range, I can't lock on. Okay, that's fine. Hello! Haha! <laughs> How are you? I bet you've never had to deal with a ship this wily before. Alright. Um, and then these guys. Have you ever stopped to think about how many ships you actually sink in this game and how nuts that is in terms of a real naval engagement? Like, it's, it's pretty incredible if more than two ships get sunk in a real naval engagement, but, like, you're sinking, you know, tens and dozens, if not hundreds of ships in, in any given mission. That's pretty crazy. Oh boy. Alright, well the good thing is that the last remaining ship in this group is one that I can lock onto with torpedoes. That's bad news for him, of course, but... Ah, oh, shoot. I switched off of the AGS guns just at the wrong time. Whatever. End of the mission. Don't really care anymore. Dodge this. 
<laughs> that was awesome. Uh, yeah, alright. Sweet, get that survivor, and we're good. Let's withdraw. Whoops, withdraw, I said, yes. Let's leave the area. <laughs> Dodge this, torpedoes in the face. <laughs> Alright. We did fine there, Nagi. We did fine. It's all good. S rank. 178,000 funds. Basically 179. Ooh, North Carolina class. That's cool. I like it a lot. Okay. Neato. Uh, Tent Nagi, do we have a map of local waters? Yes, here it is. Thank you. I thought so. We might have a little shallow around here. Oh, yeah. We could, yeah, good diving for the engine. I forgot about that. Uh, one of the one of the slightly more annoying missions, but it's not too bad. It just sucks having to sail around to, like, all three different spots and wait for the dialogue to play through, and it's like, ugh. Well, I mean, you can, of course, skip the dialogue. We're not going to, so that if somebody does want to see the story, they can slow down They can slow down the video and, and see it, but it's still... It's just annoying to have to check three spots and, and get lucky, and it's, it's almost always the last spot I check when I do this mission, which is never fun. So, uh, yeah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alrighty. Particle burst gun, got a particle gun, yeah, la, la, la. I have too much of that to care. Um, we can spend a lot of money on our next duck aircraft here, because we have, uh, we've gotten a lot of money at the last couple of missions. Oh, we also have new lasers, cool. Ooh, I could feel a sneeze coming on, which is why I muted my mic. Uh, it's still there. I might still sneeze, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, sure, we'll spend that much on that. You know what, how, how close is this? And we'll just do it now and get the next one started. Duck Fighter, we're in a good spot now. Alrighty, well, um, that will do it for this episode of Warship Gunner 2. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.